As a way to improve pregnancy rates and in vitro fertilization, doctors and biomedical engineers at the University of Michigan have developed a machine that mimics the movements in the body. It turns out that embryos in motion grow better than those in a static petri dish. What we do is we take uh, embryos that are really about the size of half of a period um, and place them into a drop of media that is really huge. We've, we've talked about this uh, in the past and saying, you know, it's almost like me floating out in the middle of Lake Michigan. One of our goals was when we put the embryo in these dishes, we leave them, put them in the incubator and we leave them and they sit and media sits, nothing moves, and we know that's not how the embryo grows in the body. In this particular project, we made a microfluidic model of the oviduct. And we made a uh, device that works outside of the body that recreates some of the flows uh, that are known to happen in the oviduct. And the practical application is that this is then useful to make embryos feel more like they're in the body and when the embryos feel like they're more in the body they grow better. The device holds early stage embryos which are about the size of a pencil tip. The idea is really based on having a funnel where you can place the embryos. The embryos fall down to the bottom of the funnel. At the bottom of the funnel there are microchannels um, about the size of a human hair, maybe two widths of human hair, uh, that go through the bottom of the funnel. And the microchannels themselves sit on a di display unit that has braille pins, uh, like blind people use to read emails. And the idea behind the braille pins is that you can actually program these pins to come up or go down. It gets this periodic uh, rocking or fluid flow and the amazing thing is that the embryos seem to notice. This was really the prototype that we used for testing the microfluidic device and then this is the most recent version of the chip or the cartridge that is being worked on by Incept Biosystems which is a startup company that spun out of the University of Michigan. You know when, one of the the classic um, endpoint measures that we look at is what we call blast cyst formation and in essence it's an embryo that has somewhere between 50 to 150 cells. If we look at embryos on day five in the body, it's divided to about 145 cells. The same embryo, if it was grown in a static dish, it only divides to about 65 cells and in our microfluidic rocking device, it actually goes to about 115. If the only difference was the number of cells per embryo, then it's still not as interesting. But the exciting thing is, they actually give much better pregnancy rates, at least in mice. With average pregnancy rates of about 35% nationally, if we can increase that to 50%, maybe even 45%, that's quite significant for individuals. In terms of absolute percentage, it's 22% better pregnancy rates with the microfluidic uh, embryos compared to the conventional uh, dish embryos. The other important aspect to recognize here is that also by making healthier embryos, which is really what we're doing, um, you can transfer less embryos in trying to establish a pregnancy and by doing that have less twins and triplets. This paper that we have just published really has demonstrated uh, for the first time that using microfluidics and dynamic culture uh, we can improve the health of the embryo. The big picture is we want to help people's health and lives. More specifically we're very interested in developing better methods to manipulate living cells outside of the body. And clinical studies uh, are not now ongoing. It's so difficult to, to know exactly when this will be uh, available uh, for treating uh, human infertility, but I don't think it's, it's far-fetched to say that it would be in the next uh, year to two years.